An, an EPA effort to examine the Gold King Mine near Silverton ended up causing a massive spill over 3 million gallons of contaminated wastewater into the Animas River. The EPA is taking full responsibility for the spill, but claims the river water is already at pre-contamination levels. Attorneys general in three states are considering legal action. Patty, this was... Uh, amazing to watch because you saw this huge orange river and it's moving its way through uh, Colorado, New Mexico, Utah. Uh, but then just a few days later, you see Governor Hickenlooper drinking a swig from the river. It looks better. And the uh, same officials that take responsibility for the spill saying everything's fine. What do you make of what we know so far? Well, it was interesting because this was just beginning to flow last Friday when we were on the show and it was my disgrace of the week. And it's going to be a disgrace really of the year in so many ways. Uh, have to give credit to Hickenlooper, who knows how to get a photo op. Uh, the day he drinks bong water is when we'll know <laughs> that recreational marijuana is really accepted in this state. But you c it is tough to undo the publicity and the images you've seen. That yellow orange river has been everywhere. If you saw Conan last night, you had extreme, you know, extreme rafting in Colorado with people in the middle of that sludge. I, you have to trust the state uh, board of health, I think, even if you don't trust the EPA, that if they've tested the river and the water is fine, if they say the water is safe to go in now, the water is going to be safe to go in now. The question is, what's at the bottom of the riverbed? Because what fell into the sediment from this moving pile of orange and yellow goo? Um, what the EPA did was awful. Their response was awful. Uh, on Tuesday, when basically they had told Hickenlooper not to talk, was really awful. I'm glad that the AGs are looking into the possibility of a lawsuit, although I don't think it's going to go too far. But um, the EPA has got to be careful. Of course, it's not the EPA's complete creation. This is a 150-year-old problem in Colorado. And those mines up there have had contamination for a long time. But it is clearly something we've got to keep our eye on because it's the toxic legacy of the mining boom and it's going to continue for hundreds of years. David Petty, uh, related to that point about talking about there's other mines and this is a legacy, not just this one particular problem. And it seems that this one has a couple of different legal angles. I'm not a lawyer. We have two great lawyers in the show today to, to hash this out. But there's the mine it came from, but a lot of that water came from a mine next door, and then it was caused by actions by the EPA. Uh, is this a major lawsuit waiting to happen, or because the federal government's involved and take responsibility, is that going to shelve it? Could you imagine if it had been a private company that did the exact same thing, the official hate and hysteria that would be directed at that company would be just out of control. And of course, the White House would be leading uh, the mob on that. But when the Obama administration does it itself, oh, it's like, no problem, oops, sorry, let's, let's move on and, and talk about something else. Interestingly, just a, a few days before this the EPA started pumping the water in and eventually leading to the disaster. There was a letter to the editor in one of the local papers there written by a career geologist who said this is going to increase the pollution coming out of there. And he, he said it will happen within 7 to 120 days. It turned out to be on the, the lower side of the estimate. He didn't predict exactly how this was going to happen, but he predicted that what EPA was doing would, would make things worse. And accurately, in his view, was EPA's view was sort of the worse the better because they want to turn these mines into Superfund sites, which then becomes this huge EPA project. I've done Superfund law on the enforcement side. It, is it takes an incredibly long amount of time. It's a very expensive uh, process for everybody, and it is one of the least efficient ways to remediate an environmental problem. Ideally, the governor and the legislature might take action next year and say, okay, we, we can't count on EPA to fix things for us. Let's see if we can pass a mine cleanup, a better mine cleanup law that we can enforce in Colorado. And the fact is, if all the mine operators from 150 years ago aren't around to be sued, or, you know, that's a worthwhile expenditure of taxpayer money for the common good uh, to clean up these sites which endanger everyone. Penn, uh, you're a great lawmaker. You were a great law. You you are a great lawyer. <laughs> we're a great lawmaker. Uh, and if you were in a position to advise Attorney General Cynthia Kaufman on what to do next, what would you say? 
I think she's taking the correct course of action. I think you need to examine and weigh all the facts, talk with the uh, attorneys general in, in New Mexico and Utah as she's doing, confer with them, confer with CDPHE and the EPA, because the reality is EPA released the, the mess, but they didn't necessarily put the mess in the mine or in the adjoining mine or in other mines. And Patty's right. This is a legacy of the state. Mining has been instrumental to the state of Colorado. Y you might say that in many instances, but for mining, there'd be no state of Colorado because that's what brought people here in, in large quantities. And so, y y and mining continues in this state. A and we need to continue to have some sort of appropriate regulatory structure for mining so that it's safe for workers and for the environment and for the community both in operation and in cleanup. And what this has shown is we've got some work to do in the cleanup phase of that. So Attorney General Kaufman needs to keep an eye on this. Frankly, La Plata County, Durango, Southern Ute Tribe, affected landowners, they all need to keep an eye on this because we don't know yet if anything has settled in the bottom of the riverbed, we'll find out. Some have said that with the, the, the snow we've had and the rain and the rivers running so quickly that there wasn't time for anything to settle, but you don't know, that testing's gotta be done. So there's more work to be done, but I would, I, I disagree with David a little. I think the EPA is gonna get a black eye on this one, but I also think we're gonna potentially see some action against some of the private mine owners who were the subject of these efforts to try to clean up the mines they left behind. And beyond just the environmental disaster, which has been a, a big deal, we're talking about you know millions of times of uh, heavy metals, things like that, there's a big economic factor here too, and a part of the state that frankly isn't suited well to take on a lot of economic abuse. Um, do you think there's gonna be some ramifications in that side of the coin? Well, there has to be, and, and the EPA has come out and they've said, we are going to find a way to reimburse uh, businesses for a business they lost. I mean, but, but the question is gonna be, how do you go about that? I mean, how long is the river gonna be closed? I mean, some of these rafting businesses are not high profit businesses. I mean, they're, they're, you know, the, the longer that this is shut down, the more chances are that they're going to be out of business, not just losing business because of that. Uh, there's also the greater factor of what does this do for tourism in Colorado? I mean, clearly we are now, uh, you know, we've gone from being splashed across the nation for being the state where somebody shot 12 people in a movie theater, uh, killed 12 and shot 70 others, uh, to now the state where our rivers look like uh, some kind of odd soup. And, and, and this is, it's, it reminds me of the wildfires of 2002. This is not going to do well as people are looking about where I want to go next summer. So I think this is going to have greater economic impact. I think the EPA had better come in and really at least find the direct link between business lost and their actions and make sure to reimburse that. But we've got to talk about something bigger to promote Colorado coming out of this.